How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a little um, how-to video. We're going to be showing you, or I'm going to be showing you guys how to use commands to be able to make your own custom world. Um, I'm actually making an adventure map right now, so it should be out in the next few weeks. Um, and by the way, I'm doing no face cam for this one today because I didn't think there was a need to do a face cam for something like this. So, what you would need to do is first you need to get yourself a command box. Let's go ahead and clear everything that I got there. You want to put T forward slash give and then space at P C O M M and then press the tab button, press space and then press one. That right there will give you one command block. And of course, you would want to get you um, something like redstone. You can go ahead and get your redstone torch. You can get your redstone block, redstone, or a pressure plate. It does not matter as long as you can power one of these. Now, I'm going to show you how to all these really work. So, I'm going to Actually, I'm going to start from the right. So, the first thing you would want to know, know is how to TP players in your world. TP means teleport. So, like, if you get done with a level and you want them to teleport to another level, this right here is what you would need to know. So the first thing you would want to do is um, you will actually have to be able to build all this in creative. You can't do none of this in survival. You have this right here. It says TP at P6354 and then negative 350. So, what that is, is that's actually the coordinates for this right here. This right here is the actual coordinates for that. So I'm um, going to press F3 to see your coordinates. It will be, so it says block, I'm um, 635, 4, and then negative 350. Whenever it says 4 right in the middle, you actually want to go up one more block. You want to spawn up one block in the air so you don't glitch into the ground. Because glitching into the ground whenever you're in the middle of a survival world isn't cool. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and teleport. And there we go. We're, okay. we're right there. Yeah. So, we actually teleported. That is how you can teleport players. You basically just need to know the coordinates of where you want to go from one spot to the next. Go into one of these command blocks, put TP, at P, and then whatever your coordinates are. Up next, we want to go ahead and give players items. So, let's say that you need them to break through something. And you want to make it a little bit of a challenge. But you also don't want them to go ahead and go into creative to get the items that they need. So, if you want to actually give a player an item, you go ahead and type it into here forward slash give at p and then you want to start typing something so uh let's go ahead and do like minecraft's um colon and i think it's what it's called a colon and i put stone underscore pickaxe one so that right there would actually end up giving me a pickaxe so let's go ahead and step on the pressure plate and there we go it gives me a, an actual pickaxe now i'm gonna actually go ahead and do that all from the start right here so we're going ahead and clearing all of us so we're going to forward slash oh forward slash give at p and then um Let's do D-I, uh, oh crap. Um, let's go ahead and do iron, I guess. I-R-O-N, and then underscore, if I did it again, and then um, pick, and then space one. And by the way, whenever the words just randomly pop up and it finishes it for me, that's whenever I'm pressing tab. Press tab when you're typing in a command, and if it is actually a command, it will finish it for you, so you can keep typing all of it out. And then basically watch this real quick. We're going to step on it right now. And there we go. We got an iron pickaxe. This is also how you kill players. So if you're doing a trolling map, this is how you can do it. So you want to just do forward slash kill. Now, if you just do forward slash kill, I'm pretty sure it would kill just whoever's standing on the pressure plate. But if you come up here and you put like, uh, let's do at uh, E for entity, all entities. So E. So if you press at E and then press done, not only will it kill you, but it will kill every animal and every player around. Now, I'm not going to step on it because I don't want to die because I don't want to lose any of my stuff. Plus, i got other things to show you so I don't want it to kill other animals. Now, this thing back here is actually one of my favorites. And now, you guys can go ahead and copy down these commands if you want to. By the way, I forgot to say that. Go ahead and pause it if you want to. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and place... Uh, first, you want to place your stuff like this. We're going to go ahead and place down your uh, command block. And then you want to get a block of your choice, put it down like that. You want to go ahead there and then crouch so you don't click into it. You want to go ahead and put down another block. And then put down another redstone block, or not redstone, a command block. First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy this command into your command block. So what you're going to do is press control A, for me at least, press control C to copy it. And we'll go ahead and put it in here. Click done. Now in the second one, you want to do this, and you don't have to have, I'll show you something in a minute, you want to press control A and control C to copy it from me, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in this second one right here, and then, oh crap, I actually pressed something else, there we go, go ahead and copy this one too, so control A and then control C, then we want to put that one right 
here. Going for us done. Now, the one right here where it says forward slash kill at E type bat. Well, at E is for entity entities only. And as long as you specify what entity you're wanting to kill, then it will kill it. And normally when you're in like um, adventure maps or something like that, and then it's in a dark room and you realize that, hey, there's no bats in here, but we're not on peaceful. Well, this is the reason why. It's killing all bats, so no bats will spawn. So this one over here, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but the one on the left, is actually killing all bats to spawn right now. They just keep spawning and they will instantly die when it's dark. So what you want to do is if you ever want to customize what type of entity it kills, just take out that word, like how I took out bat. So now if I want to kill a zombie, we're going to Z-O-M-B-I-E. We're going to press done. And then I don't know if it's a peaceful. Let's check if it is. We're going to go to easy. We got that. So we're going to go over here and look up for zombie. Z-O-M-B-I. There we go. Spawn zombie. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spawn down a few zombies right there. And it's daylight. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and place it down. And there we go. Instantly kills them. So that's exactly what it does. It just basically kills them. And same for this one right here. It's just meant for a bat instead of a zombie. So if there's any bats to spawn up, it will instantly kill them. Now I'm going to do the um, same like representation over here with these um, sheep. I have something spawned in right here. And it says it's going to kill the sheep. So we're going to step on it. And there you go. Basically it just kills any entity that you have put in there. Um, so now... The next one over here is actually something that's going to be really cool and really, really useful for you. So, after we go ahead and clear our inventory real quick, we're going to go ahead and just go here. And there we go. Titles. Titles is one of the biggest things in Minecraft when it comes to making a world. So let's go ahead and turn this off so it doesn't keep popping up. So what you need to do is you need to get at least get to your command block. You need a redstone repeater. You need a redstone. Redstone comparator and a block of your choice. And I think that might be it, other than the command, of course. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this off because I don't want it to continue flickering. So what you want to do is you want to come over here. You want to go ahead and put down your command block just like so. You want to have a redstone repeater coming into the actual command block, like facing into it. One directly beside it facing away, like beside the other redstone repeater. Two, two redstone, oh, wrong one. Two redstone pieces right at the back like this. Put one up just like so. Put your block down just like this. Now you need the redstone comparator and make sure it's facing away from, like out that way, away from the command block. And then right up here, of course, the reason why you want to do this, you want to put redstone right there and then you want to put a redstone repeater just like so. And since this right here doesn't give a very big power source out, you're going to definitely have to have that. So what you want to do is go ahead and continue and pull out a redstone current out this way and put down another command block. Now, in this first command, you want to go ahead and actually use something that I have on my clipboard over here. Let me make sure I can get it up because, I mean, it's something you really need to know. So, this is actually the command that you need to actually end up putting into your command block. Now, what this does actually is normally whenever it comes to, like, how I was doing it over there where I was actually having things happen with pressure plates. Like, you want a word to pop up on the screen, like the title. But you don't want them just to have to step on the pressure plate just to spawn the title. Because most of the time people go around pressure plates because they don't want it to kill them because that's what they think. That's what this actually is. This right here is test for at P. At P means nearest player. And then the radius is 8. So if I'm in at least, at least 8 blocks in the radius of this command block, then it will spawn up the title. So now you can go up to like 100, you can go to 30, you can go whatever. I'm going to usually go 15 because 15 is good enough. So there we go. Unless I'm in a 15 block radius of... Um, these uh, command blocks, then nothing will happen. So over here is where you actually want to end up customizing your uh, your title for the actual title that pops up on the screen. So we're going ahead and place in this one right here. Now, it's we'll all try we'll all try to be down in the description below at least. Um, if I don't, then I'm sorry. But here's all of it right here. So that's all of it. So it's forward slash title, at P, title, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. So most people say that you shouldn't try to customize these while it's in the um, command block because a lot of people don't actually look at what they're doing and then some of it doesn't work. So what you want to really do just to be able to actually customize it is see these pieces right here. It says the undead wonders. That was just me messing around when I first created this, which I didn't create all this myself. I just actually customized it for myself. Right there is the name that pops up from my original one. The other one over there that says subscribe, I just changed this, these words right here to subscribe. So what you want to do is I'm going to say hello. 
and that's all in caps actually that's pretty good there we go and then over here you want to go all the way down to the uh, very back where it says color and then dark underscore red so I'm gonna go dark underscore blue I think the, the under, I think the dark blue works yeah so now it's all not lit up so what I want you to do is I actually don't want you to just go ahead and place one of these down what you need to do actually is leave one space block here put down one and then two put the redstone torch there put the redstone right there and then redstone right there and there we go look at that now we are in at least a 15 block radius this will start flashing as long as this line is lit up that means that we're in the 15 block radius I'm gonna go ahead and try to get back a little bit from it and then there we go see the lot redstone line is actually turned off so once we get into the 15 block radius it says hello but of course you sometimes don't always want that to happen and um, you can go ahead and just break it that's all you really got to do so we're going to go ahead and put it right here and then subscribe subscribe again subscribe again subscribe again okay yeah i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna stop that so basically that's the, a lot of the main things you need to know how to kill entities that are not wanted how to kill players how to give players stuff and how to teleport players and how to kill other animals and also how to do tile screens so hope you guys enjoyed this and if you guys did show me some support on the channel and if it helped you out at all go ahead and leave a like on this video and um stay tuned for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye